This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the written instructions that came with your product, SNC Instruction Sheet 695-510. You can download this instruction sheet at snc.com. SNC Vista SD Underground Distribution Switchgear operates at high voltage. Failure to observe these precautions will result in serious personal injury or death. Some of these precautions may differ from your company's operating procedures and rules. Where a discrepancy exists, follow your company's operating procedures and rules. Vista SD Underground Distribution Switchgear features load interrupter switches and microprocessor controlled fault interrupters for the switching and protection of 600 ampere main feeders and 200 or 600 ampere taps, laterals, and subloops. Load interrupter switches and fault interrupters can be directly opened and closed using the manual handle furnished. Opening and closing speed of the vacuum interrupters is not dependent upon the speed with which the handle is moved. Factory installed and wired motor operators to facilitate remote power operation of load interrupter switches and fault interrupters are optionally available. To open the enclosure, begin by removing the padlock from the latch. Now, insert a pentahead socket wrench or tool into the hinged roof latching mechanism. Rotate the wrench or tool 360 degrees counterclockwise to unlatch the hinged roof. Notice, do not apply any undue force when attempting to open the hinged roof or a door. The use of undue force may damage the latching mechanism. Lift the hinged roof all the way open. The hold open latching mechanism will engage automatically. After lifting the roof open and ensuring the hold open mechanism is engaged, release pressure on the hinged roof slowly. Failure to engage the hold open latching mechanism could result in personal injury. To gain access to the termination compartment, lift the latch handle to open the right side door or the center door. Open the door far enough to permit the door holder mechanism to engage automatically. Notice. Optional pad-mounted style enclosures furnished on switchgear assemblies with five or six ways have three doors. The right side door and the center door have lift style latch handles. The left hand door has a finger latch. Retrieve the manual operating handle from its storage location at the top left side of the switchgear assembly. The handle is tethered to the switchgear assembly to prevent its removal. Rotate the manual operating handle guide ring to the active up position. Insert the manual operating handle through the guide ring. Now, attach the manual handle to the shaft of the operating mechanism. Rotate the handle in the appropriate direction firmly and without hesitation all the way to the stops. To open the load interrupter switch or fault interrupter, rotate the handle counterclockwise. To close the load interrupter switch or fault interrupter, rotate the handle clockwise. The manual operating handle may be operated from a variety of locations using a rope, a shotgun stick, or by hand. Check the position indicators to confirm that the load interrupter switch or fault interrupter is in the desired position. Also, confirm the position of the isolating disconnect using the large viewing window. Once complete, return the manual operating handle to its storage location. To close the doors and the hinged roof, first, lift the door holder mechanism up to allow the left side door to swing closed. Make sure the finger latch engages the pin. Lift the door holder mechanism up to allow the right side door or the center door to swing closed. Close the door completely. Make sure the latch handle drops down fully to engage the door latching mechanism. On the right side of the switchgear enclosure, while pushing up on the hinged roof, release the latch on the hold open mechanism. Allow the hinged roof to sag against the hold open mechanism. At the other end of the enclosure, push up on the hinged roof just enough to allow that hold open mechanism latch to be released. Lower the hinged roof into the closed position. Insert a pentahead socket wrench or tool into the hinged roof latching mechanism. Rotate the wrench or tool 360 degrees clockwise 
to fully latch the hinged roof. Then, insert the padlock shackle through the hole in the padlock recess and lock the padlock. To reset Visigap fault interrupters after a fault, first check the position indicators to confirm the fault interrupter has tripped. Then, retrieve the manual operating handle from its storage location and attach the handle to the shaft of the operating mechanism. Rotate the handle counterclockwise firmly and without hesitation all the way to the stops to reset the fault interrupter. Now, check the position indicator to confirm the fault interrupter has been opened. Also, confirm the position of the isolating disconnect using the large viewing window. Once complete, return the manual operating handle to its storage location. To prevent operation of a load interrupter switch or fault interrupter, insert a padlock through the operating mechanism and the center hole in the locking collar. Repair the fault in accordance with your company's operating procedures and rules. When you are ready to re-energize the circuit, rotate the manual operating handle clockwise to close the fault interrupter. Then, check the position indicators to confirm the fault interrupter is closed and also confirm the position of the isolating disconnect using the large viewing window. We hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions, please visit our website at snc.com.